Hello everyone, welcome back to the Repo Series. Today we are back here on the Mills County map. We'll be heading out of the house and over to the shop here in our brand new pickup. Let's take a quick walk around before we hop on in. I just recently picked this up. It's a 2020 Ram 2500 Cummins Mega Cab. We do have a long list of modifications on this, including wheels and tires, upgraded bumpers, and a lift kit, and quite a few color match parts, and we'll have to say in dark red maroon, this is one sweet truck. We do have a busy day in ahead of us here as we just got a list of repos sent over from the bank. Today we will be once again looking for a pontoon boat and trailer, a Tesla cyber truck, and we'll be helping out a local rental store looking for a piece of equipment that has gone missing. I'm really excited to be back here with the repo series. It's been a pretty popular series here on the channel and it has been a number of weeks since uh, the previous episode. Now this Cummins here has to be one of my favorite uh, Cummins, it's a, an awesome looking truck, so many cool features, and I really want to start to use it more here in videos, it's an awesome truck, and we got to give it uh, quite a lot of time here on the channel, and put it to work, and just really see what it can do here, but all the modifications, including those tow mirrors, everything about this truck looks so sweet here, but let's hop out at Cummins and get going with the tow trucks. Today we will be using two, including the 2020 Ford F550 Light duty wrecker and we also do have the 2020 ram 3500 a rollback here now first we will be looking for the pontoon boat the story here with the pontoon boat we've been looking for over five to six months for this thing it's been really hard to find the last time i saw it it was actually in the water and uh now uh, we are getting reports that it's at the customer's main house and it's already on the trailer which is good to go and the trailer just no one can find here it's kind of putting a puzzle together you have to get all the pieces together at the same time and then you got to go in and get it so that's what we're going to do here today we might have to do some things uh, we got to make sure it's road worthy because usually this time of year uh, they're working on everything getting it all ready for winter I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far here. Let me know how it is down below. I'm really excited to be back here making videos. And the new series should be starting tomorrow, if not next week. And I'm really excited for that here. Lots of cool content to come and spend. A busy uh, last few months for the channel. And it's going to keep getting better and better. Now, a repo is where the customer just does not pay here, and we have to come looking for the vehicle, bring it back to the bank, and usually these do go up to auction. You could get some pretty cheap, awesome toys at auction if you do uh, kind of pay attention there. But we are coming up here on the house, and I could already, from a distance there, I uh, can see the pontoon boat. Look at that there. Wow, that is pretty awesome here. Let's get the strobe lights going. I don't see any cars at home. Hopefully no one comes running out. That is always a big worry here. Uh, people come running out uh, saying, hey, why are you taking it? But we'll get backed up here. We can't exactly attach just yet. We do have to check two VIN numbers here. One on the boat and then one on the trailer here because there's two different assets here. So we'll take a look. Looks like, let's check. I believe it's right here at the tongue. Yes, that's the correct VIN. Now on this pontoon boat, I believe it's back here on the engine. And yes, it is very small font. This is it. Wow, that was a pretty simple thing. We'll take a few pictures here. But one thing I am noticing, that uh, canopy up top really has to be folded up the ladder in the back and also the engine has to kind of get lifted up here we don't want to scrape it just in case let's hop here on the inside really quickly we'll lift that up and we'll lift the ladder up now I'm not sure if we can get the canopy I have noticed sometimes it is a bit tricky to kind of get that to work here but big shout out uh, goes out to the rental man buck for sending this over this is one pretty sweet pontoon but one of the best uh, ones I've ever seen in a video game here but we got it all ready to go we, we, want, we aren't going highway speeds and we aren't going anywhere near uh, trees, so we should be good to go there. So let's get attached. And the first repo, I will have to say, it was a little bit easier than what I was thinking here. But repos do take a lot of time, sometimes months to find. And this one was the case here. Now we do have lots more cool videos to come here and I hope everyone is excited for everything to come here and if you haven't already, I do ask that you please subscribe or you're growing, growing faster and faster and we are getting closer and closer to that 100,000 subscribers goal which I really am excited for, so many cool things coming with the channel. 
Look at this, guys. This F550 record looks pretty small uh, compared to this pontoon boat. I will have to say, this is one heavy pontoon boat. I would say it's roughly a 25 to anywhere to 32 feet. It's a pretty big one. And this bending thing, though, is uh, pretty sweet here. So what we'll do is we'll kind of put it out. Actually, we won't even really need to get this uh, detached here because we'll be hopping in the other truck uh, to do the other two for today. So up next, we do have a very unique one, our first time repoing in Tesla, and that is a Cybertruck. Uh, they are five months behind on payments, have not made a single payment, and we have to go pick it up. Let's hop here in the Cummins, one of my favorite trucks. Really quickly, we'll show the strobe lights. Wow, this thing is sweet. Now with these tow trucks, I am a big fan here of diesels. They are really good and tow trucks do get a lot of hours put on them going around uh, doing work and that diesel gives us that extra torque and power we need uh, to run the uh, beds uh, that we use, the wreckers and the rollbacks. Now, if you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting some pretty sweet content over there every single day. And I will be actually showcasing some more kind of other games I play in my personal time as well. But we are coming up here on the uh, location here. I believe that we start on the way back here. Yes, it's here. We do have to check the VIN now. This is a pretty unique one here for us, guys. I will have to say we'll talk about it now. We actually do have a key card that allows us to drive it here. But really quickly, we'll check the VIN and that's it wow that was a pretty easy one here looks like it's not charged in as well it's just out front here usually teslas are kind of hiding in garages with the uh wall chargers everything like that here but let's get the bed folded down and let's get this loaded up now this truck here is a pretty expensive one. I believe this one was the uh, Tri uh, Motors, which was around, I would say, uh, fifty-five to sixty thousand dollars here. But let's get it turned on. We won't hear the engine at all. It's actually pretty unique how Teslas are. Uh, but we'll get it loaded up. Going to be a tight fit, it looks like. But we'll get it on and we'll get it strapped down. She's on the back of the bed, but we're squatting pretty big here. You guys can see it's one pretty heavy truck. Now, I will have to say the windows are pretty much unbreakable and also the body panels are much heavier built than the regular trucks nowadays here. So it's a pretty heavy one here for the Cummins, but she'll get it no problem. Now one thing we really do need tow mirrors here on this Cummins rollback here. Hopefully I could look into switching out uh, the mirrors. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing here. But actually the next one, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. We just have been hired to locate a piece of equipment that went missing here. But I always try to kind of start with the most expensive thing. Work our way down the list. That way if we only get a few things, we get the big paychecks in our day. Now unloading this here will be a little tricky, but you guys can see, wow, this is one awesome truck, and I really am excited. Now maybe we might do some more videos here with the Tesla, but let's see what happens here. We'll get it turned on. Now I do have to do a pretty unique way to unload it, I will have to say. I'm just going to kind of show you guys, that way you guys can see it is pretty unique here. You guys can see it's rolling back, no problem. We'll get it turned on. We should be able to get it rolled right off here, no problem. We'll put a steering wheel lock here on it. Wait, look at that, guys. It it looks like it doesn't even have a steering wheel there. Last on the list here today is a K-Skid Seer. Like I did touch upon, guys, it was a rental that just went missing. We'll have to check a few places. They said the owner uh, that rented it was working at a construction site. So we'll have to go by there. But really quickly, I do just want to kind of go by the rental. Uh, just make sure it wasn't dropped off here. I'm always looking on the phone to make sure uh, we have all of the paperwork. But I don't see it here. And that means we do have to go find it here. So really quickly, we'll go by the construction site. Not exactly sure where exactly it will be. I think the construction site was down this road here. It's always tricky uh, driving around town trying to locate things, but we'll just slowly creep by. I don't see anything. Let's go by where it could be at the owner of the company's house. Now, if you do have any cool video ideas here for me, please let me know. I definitely want to continue all this series, including adding some new ones uh, uh, coming soon as well. And we are coming up here on the house here to the left hand side. I don't see anything out front. Really no construction equipment working. Don't. Oh, there it is, guys. Out of the corner of my eye, I found it. And we'll get that roll back here. Let's hop on out. we got to run over and get it. And this, uh, when you just don't pay, especially a rental, we come looking for it. But wow, this is it. We'll take a few pictures. Don't see any kind of uh, work being done. Uh, so he must have been just wanting to hide it here. Kind of give uh, the rental company a bit of a hard time here. But let's hop on in. We'll get it turned on. Yep, no problem. 
and we do have a key here. The rental companies all we have a, uh, always have a spare key, and that always comes in handy. It seems like. Awesome, so here we go, we got the last one here for today, that is pretty sweet here, it's always nice to be able to do our job, get these uh, for our customers, and be able to get a pretty decent paycheck as well. The case is all loaded up and ready to go. Now, like I have touched upon previously, it is pretty tricky uh, to kind of get these rollbacks to work here, especially when you don't have them strapped down. Now, that is something that I think would be pretty cool. You strap it when it's uh, tilted, and then when you kind of go to roll it back, we have no problem here. But we got it all loaded up, and why don't you go swing it by and drop it off? That way, when we drop it off, we get the paycheck. Now both the tow trucks we use here today are private edits of the wood metal farming ones and I will have to say they do one really good job here, really do great. We put a ton of miles on them, lots of hours on the engines and they just keep going here and sometimes we even uh, tow stuff that are even bigger than what they are capable of. But we made it back here, we got all of the repos, hope you guys enjoyed today's repo video, thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more.